Well, that's that folks. Game of Thrones is up and man, that was a lame ending. A very lame ending. I know all of you are angry, but just give me some time to tell you that there probably will be more Game of Thrones. If you notice the way that the story ended, there are a lot of loose ends. Speaking of loose ends, I've got a series coming up of Game of Thrones Loose Ends, which talks about parts of the story that just played out in a very funny way. They were not tied up. We're going to be talking about that. I'm also going to be continuing with the series of poorly executed scenes for the whole series so you can see some of the production issues that were going on. Back to the fact that the story probably has not ended. I are actually headed out to a place where there is no map. There's probably going to be some action there. She's probably going to come back with something. You look at Drogon. Drogon, uh, whom Bran is now trying to seek out and control. Drogon left with Daenerys' body. You don't know where the creature went. You know that's a magical creature. Probably might have taken her to get resuscitated somewhere. And if she does get resuscitated, know that she's coming back with the fire. She's going to be angry. And she's going to have fire breathing out her mouth. Uh, literally. Jon Snow left and crossed the wall into the north with Tormund. And the Northmen didn't look like he's going to come back. Some things might develop there. He might get a family. But that's another angle uh, which can actually play out to show the continuation of Game of Thrones. You actually look also at Zansa. She was not very uh, pleased with the appointment of Bran. And she did take a consolation prize of being uh, the Queen of the North. But uh, that's also another angle that might play out. That girl is very power hungry. I don't think she's just going to let things uh play down like that she might also come back with an angle so there are lots of loopholes that were left lots of open-ended that were left which is characteristic of game of thrones and expect uh the story to continue also considering that uh mr martin has concluded the last two books the script writers might actually come up with something and ways to actually continue uh this series which did not end in the way that we all wanted we wanted it to end with a bang and with the way people are now uh, complaining about the way it ended and the petitions that uh, have been put out there for people for a rewrite and all that they know that if you they should actually continue this series there's going to be a market for it so watch out for that in the future probably one two three years from now the fact that Bran actually became uh, the king uh, actually kind of lame yes it's poetic justice for the fact that uh, Ned Stark was killed in the very same place where the Starks now uh ruling but it just doesn't play out the fact that you know they had to uh listen to Tyrion's little speech and then all of a sudden decide that Bran should be king was actually kind of flame i think they could have actually done something better let me know in the comments how you would have wanted it to end i think i would have liked Zansa probably to take over as queen uh, she's a fiery character and even if the story is to continue she would ensure that uh, it would be actually quite interesting you don't want it to end this way i mean this was just not it brand is just too chilled Ugh, man that wasn't really coming on okay so tell me guys how does a water bottle show up in the last episode of game of thrones i know water bottles of that type were not found in those times because mineral water like that wasn't available yet people were drinking from rivers and whatnot but you actually come up across something like this i want you to let me know in the comment section those who probably have links to the show what brand of water bottle was that this is very embarrassing what a way to round up the show especially when people are complaining about it but a water bottle next to tali's leg wow that was amusing as far as predictions go my last big prediction came true uh, Jon Snow killed Daenerys, so she basically didn't make it to the Iron Throne or didn't actually stay there. So I'm not that dude that you want to mess with. Almost everybody I said is going to die is dead. So don't make me predict your death, dude. And uh, subscribe to the channel because there's more coming from different shows. So if you want to have an edge on everybody else watching, you know you want to roll with the critique because I bring forth those insights. You know I'm all about the poorly executed scenes. I've already talked about the one where Samuel Tali left a water bottle behind his leg. Probably it was a hot day. He brought the water bottle onto the set and the editors didn't catch that until it was obviously too late. Then there's another one which goes from episode 5 into episode 6. You notice 
uh, Jamie and uh, Cersei, while they were in that basement, the rocks, or should I say the bricks, fell on them. Now, when Tyrion is walking towards them in episode 6, you notice that those rocks don't look like they're coming from nowhere, except at the scene where uh, Jamie and Cersei are actually lying down dead. Uh, you actually notice that those bricks or rocks were just put there, but if you look up, there's no sunlight coming in to show where they were coming from, so it was just a poorly executed scene. Even where uh, Jamie and Cersei actually had the final resting place when the rocks uh, fell on them in episode 5, Jamie was on through the right of the screen, Cersei to the left. But when Tyrion actually discovered them, uh, their position was Jamie was to the left and Cersei to the right. I think it was done probably just to bring out the gold hand so Tyrion could find them and have that emotional moment. Uh, it was quite a poorly manufactured uh, emotional moment in my case or in my view because they couldn't have spun that quickly to actually then have Jamie end up on the left when he was in fact on the right when the rocks fell on them. So that is it folks, uh, Game of Thrones is done. I'm gonna help you mourn by actually releasing more content. I've got playlists that I'm actually coming up with. I already told you playlists about the poorly executed scenes, playlists about the loose ends, that stories that were probably just used to push things forward, but now it's really wrapped up. I know you need some closure, so the critique is going to be there for you for as long as you need uh, releasing these videos about Game of Thrones. Um, Subscribe to the channel because there's a lot coming up uh, about Game of Thrones and other series. Also, let me know in the comments below what else you want me to review. What's the next hot show? Where do we go from here? Like I said before, Game of Thrones is probably going to be back, but maybe not as epic as it was. Uh, look at 24. It did come back, but, you know, that was that. It was just a bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell and let me know what you think in the comments below about the work that we're doing just growing this channel bit by bit and i know with your support we're going to get there and let me know what next we should actually review because we have to go somewhere from here